Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Chrysler and today I'm going to be trying out a new hair product for you guys. I'm really excited because this is the first Diva Curl product in years that I've purchased. If you're new to my channel, I have 3A, 3B hair. Pretty sure it's 3B now that it's like it's full curl potential. I recently got a new haircut and it is more layered now, so I have a lot more volume and my curls spring up a lot more. But my goal is to grow it out because I've had a very long hair journey. If you're new to my channel, I used to straighten it all the time. I used to dye it all the time. So my hair is completely virgin and I'm really happy with it. But I was on the market for a cleaner hair product. So when I found out about this product right here, the Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator, I was really excited to try it out because first of all, it is eight fluid ounces and I wasn't in the mood to spend around $30 for something that was six ounces. So I decided to go for this one. Plus I am really into making my hair look Longer. If you're new to my channel, I did do a video back in the springtime where I did have some straighter pieces on the ends of my hair before I chopped it off completely and I did go over ways that I like to make my hair appear longer. So following the directions on this packaging is nothing new to me because it's basically how I style my hair on a regular basis. This product apparently has the hold of a gel so I'm very excited to use it. So I just got out of the shower and I'm just going to make sure that my hair is completely soaked. So as you can see I have some shorter layers. My crown is quite short now. So it will spring up. So I do detangle in the shower, but I will be going over with a wide tooth comb again, just to make sure. And it'll be easier for me to section off. So I'm gonna take right about ear level because I think that's where one of my layers starts. So this product is very thick. I can see the jelly consistency that it has. I'm gonna start with just a little bit and run that through my hair. All right, so I've applied all the product and I'm just going to run through with a wide tooth comb to do more elongation because this is what I normally do. I'm gonna add more water to make sure that my curls clump together because they're a little too separated right now. So now that I have my hair set to how I want it to dry, I'm just gonna let it dry and I'll check up with you guys when it's completely dry to show you guys what it looks like, what my curls look like. I don't have a side-by-side -side comparison because I already know what my curls look like, so I can just tell you guys if my curl pattern is looser and all that jazz. So I will see you guys later. So it's been hours and my hair is completely dry now. I haven't separated it, I haven't touched it. I've just been around the house doing chores and like living my life. So I think this is a pretty good representation of what would happen to my hair if I just decided to go out and wear a coat and wear something that kind of pushes up my hair, I definitely think it would have shrunk. When I got my hair cut a couple of days ago, I left with it still damp and I put on a coat, so my curls were being pushed up. So it did shrink and it was about to here. So I think the product definitely stretched out my curls as well as me combing it through. I haven't separated any of the curls though, so I still have to do that. As far as definition, I think curls are pretty defined. I think I need to put more product up top. I did take off my shirt because I was hot and when I was cleaning and changing to something else, so that might have contributed. Um, as you can see, this is my shorter layer. Of course, I do have a side part, so it looks even shorter, but this is it on this side. So I need more product there, but this side looks really, really nice. Still have to separate some of these so it bounces a bit more. So my final verdict on this product is I think it's really good. It's a good one product system for me. I really don't like to use multiple products. It's just not my style. It's too much work. I'm just not into using a lot of products, especially if each product costs about $30. I've seen some hair tutorials on YouTube and people are using up to $100 worth of product at each 
thing costs like $30. So I like this as a one product wash and go and I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I want to test out is to see how long this tub lasts because it is pricey and I don't want to spend too much money on my hair, but I'm really happy with it. I'm happy that I tried it because my hair definitely looks really nice and there's no silicone so hopefully I'll stop breaking out on the back of my neck because that is the thing that started happening once I started wearing my hair curly all the time. So that is why I decided to go for Diva Curl because there's no silicone in their products and this particular product was just really eye-catching. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope you're having a magical day. I'll see you in the next video.